Hey, what's your name? My name's Ron DeSantis. Oh! Does someone need a hug? I just wanted a hug. At one time, we came to this place for magic. We came to AMC theaters to laugh, and for those of you with actual tear ducts, to cry. We came to give a handy to a rando in the back row in exchange for a jumbo bucket of hot buttered popcorn and an extra large box of milk duds. It's that indescribable feeling you get when you experience amazing stories with powerful male white characters. Yo, Karen, sit the fuck down. We're trying to watch the movie. Hey, Matt, you said we rented out the whole theater. Sorry, Marge. They said they didn't get the Venmo. Seriously, you had one fucking job. What can I say? I'm an idiot. That works. Now, where the hell was I? Movies with strong white male characters. Strong white male characters who occasionally would have a funny Asian, Mexican, or black sidekick that would get killed off in the first 20 20 minutes. Bitch said what? I don't know, but somebody about to get slapped. We came to AMC theaters to see great movies without gay and trans characters running around like they own the place and being treated like normal people. What, what the? the? For classic stories where boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back by killing a buttload of bad guys with his impressive collection of NRA approved semi-automatic weapons. Can you make this scary lady go away, Grandpa? Oh, trust me, boy, I would if I could. Hey, folks, it's me, your favorite president. And me, the girl who's taken more balls to the chin than Yogi Berra. Wait, 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 what? What exactly do you and a cartoon bear that likes pick and nick baskets have to do with each other? No, silly Billy. Not the cartoon Yogi Bear, the baseball legend, catcher Yogi Berra. Huh? I don't follow. Baseball catcher, balls to the chin. This is not rocket science, sir. Okay, okay, but I hope Boo Boo Bear doesn't find out what you and Yogi have been up to. We're pretty discreet. Enough about your sordid private life. We've got some really big news. Hey, Mr. President, before the big news, don't you think we should address the 500-pound orangutan in the room? Oh, right. I suppose you're talking about my new and rather unique look. Well, duh. You see, Bobo, as we covered in last week's video, Scared Ketchup has been compromised by the app companies he uses to animate his videos. They keep changing the rules to make it harder for him to create his signature brand of content. So, for the meantime, to help old Ketch get his videos made, I will be wearing disguises. Oh, I get it. This way, the app companies won't think it's you, Scared Ketchup is making a fool out of, and that this video is really about a big, fat, talking orange monkey. Exacto mundo, my little garden no Geisha girl, and he's even giving us some sweet options to choose from. Check out this fun look. OMG, sexy. You look like a DJ in 1960s Transylvania. I'm all alone till I see it again tomorrow night, baby. This is fun. Are there any more options to choose from? Oh, hell yes. I think you're gonna like this next one. Holy crap, Nuggets, are you kidding me? See, what did I tell you? Quite the upgrade, right? Upgrade is right, I love it. Makes me wish I had tickets to Beetlejuice. You and me both, Big Daddy. <laughs> okay, okay, so they all can't be winners. Oh, I don't know. I used to touch myself when I watched Beauty and the Beast. TMI, Bobo, TMI. <laughs> hey, Scared Ketchup, I feel like maybe now you're taking this whole thing a little too far. I think I look pretty darn cute. Yeah, Bobo, but it's not all about you. Uh, yeah, like we can agree to disagree on that. Take us back to the one before last, please, so we can get on with the show. So folks, the big news of the day is that Scared Ketchup's YouTube channel has hit 50,000 subscribers. 50K? Way to go, Scared Ketchup. Woot woot. Woot woot indeed. And to think it all started a short six months ago with this unmistakable and unforgettable sound. <laughs> That's from the Ketchup Man's first video, Donald and Melania in Couples Therapy. Now here we are, 95 videos and 50,000 subscribers later, and old man Ketch is still going strong. Going strong, yes, but also under attack. As some of you may know, the far-right Christo-fascist wing of the Republican Party has been putting pressure on YouTube and the app companies Scared Ketchup uses to stop or limit him from creating his signature brand of content. You see, people like me like to dish it out in the name of free speech, but we don't like it when people on the other side do the same. Hypocritical much? That would be a yes. These far-right ding-dong 
dogs use a technique called mass reporting, and it can be very effective. This has all but upended Scared Ketchup's ability to make a living creating videos. So if you are able, please hit that super thanks button, buy me a coffee link, PayPal, or visit the Etsy store for some sweet Scared Ketchup swag. The link is on the channel page. Without you, the fans, Scared Ketchup would be no more, and that is not an exaggeration. Say hello now to our first guest, American hero Kyle Rittenhouse. Hey, like, uh, what's up, Mr. President? Hey, Kyle, how's it hanging, bro? You look fat. It's like uh, all good. And yeah, I've put on a few pounds, you know, like from the stress of like uh, being me. Right, right. It ain't easy being one of the most universally hated human beings on the planet. Yeah, like uh, I know you get it. Oh, I get it. I get it. We're like uh, turds of a feather. Hey, fellas, what about me? What am I, chopped liver? I'd say like, yes, but I don't want to insult like a chopped liver. OMG, you little shit. You're still mad that we never consummated our marriage, aren't you? Well, like, yeah, it kind of stings. Wait, wait, what? You two were married for fuck's sake? Yes, sir. We got like uh, hitched in Vegas back in August, but she was just like, uh, after my money. Me? After your money? Ha 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 ha. Don't make me laugh. Yeah, Kyle, I can't imagine it had anything to do with money. It was probably more of an attention whoring thing. It totally was. Okay, like, whatever. It was still a crappy thing to do to a young, impressionable, like, uh... Murderer. murderer. Yeah, murderer. I mean, like, no. Not a murderer. So, Kyle, I hear tell that you are currently traveling the country on a crook tour. Is that right? It's actually, a like, a book tour. You wrote a book? Now that's funny. Yeah, um, like, I wrote two books, actually. One for kids and one for, like, uh, grown-ups. Good for you, Kyle. How are they selling? Uh, they are, like, not. What a shocker. I'm sorry to hear that, Kyle. Have you ever thought about getting into digital trading cards? No, uh, because I heard that, like, only total morons would invest in digital trading cards. That's absolutely true, my dude, but that doesn't mean you can't make a shitload of cheddar. Oh, okay, like, I get it. Yeah, I was thinking that after this failed book thing is over, I might, like, go into mail stripping. Mail stripping, you say? Yes. Um, I've been taking some, like, erotic dance classes. Would you like to see some of my, uh, moves? Oh, hell yes! <laughs> Okay, thanks, Kyle. We've seen enough. I'd say don't quit your day job if you had one.